Hi guys, this is Xiaomi Max, aka Max. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So these two methods, right, can cut the prices of all your big boy SBCs, right, by half. This will actually break the game. Yes, your Ronaldinho, your 93 plus footies player pick, your icon player pick. I actually have two ways. The first way will be for people who have a little more time to actually grind the game. The second way, uh, actually for people who have much lesser time. And you know, those two ways, right, might not be what you think it is. I'm going to talk about the glitch kit, the market, as well as what to invest in. So yesterday, right, we actually gotten the re-release of your 85 by 10. So the requirements, um, 84 and an 86 rated with one team of the week, one thoughts, comes out to about 130k in total. So this time, instead of two times, we can actually do it three times, right? We didn't get it unlimited. The kind of unlimited SBC that we have gotten, right, it's actually your 84 by 10 itself. Let's take a look at the requirements. So you can do it unlimited amount of times. It's actually out for three days. The requirements, 87 rated squad with one team of the week. Comes up to about 103k in total. So you guys might ask, right, so which out of the two, right, is actually better? I would say, you know, the price difference, right, it's only 27k to be honest. So I would say just go ahead and do your 85 by 10 for three times. Once you're done, and then you can come over to complete this SBC. So as expected, right, we have gotten the Fernando Torres SBC as well, the Trophy Titans version. Now, of course, it's actually not that desirable because he's actually quite behind the power curve, right, 4-5. And of course, you know, he's actually not that expensive. Like I predicted, right? I mentioned in yesterday's video, he's going to be about 150k. And I was spot on. He's actually 150k to complete. So nothing too significant there. And thank God, we gotten the return of your 80 plus player pick as well. And it's actually 6k a pop. Thank God, it's not a 80 rated squad this time. Tango common players. So if you actually picked up your go common players, right? At 350 coins that I spoke about. You know, you're actually making coins as well because right now, right, they are actually all the way up at about 600 coins insta sell. So you can actually, right, for those of you on the lower budget, right, try to get your gold commons, right, on bid at 400 coins and then sell them off at 600 coins. You make yourself a um, nice little profit right there. Yesterday, we have also gotten a rival's objective. So this is actually, you know, for me, fantastic because. It's kind of like free. You just have to play like 9 games. You don't even have to win. And you know, you get some very good packs. Your 82 by 10, 81 by 11, 84 by 3. And at the end, you get an 85 by 10. So I heard that lots of people have actually, right, been rubber banding in rivals to get this done. So that makes it, right, for me, even more worth it, right, to go ahead and complete this. Because you can actually get all these fodder packs, right, as well as your rival rewards. So go and get this done because... As we all know, right, fodder is go right now. Everybody is lacking it and we want it, you know, do all the big SBCs that's out right now. We have also gotten this um, football home kit objective, right? It's actually very easy. You just have to play and win games, right, with the kit itself. So in total here, right, we have about 1,800 XP. Lots of people are actually trying to get this done because um, nowadays, right, we're getting XP, right, very, very slowly. Take a look at me, right, I'm still stuck at level 11. And people actually want to progress up all these levels, right, very quickly, right, to get all your fodder packs. You might be wondering, right, where can I get this World Football Kit? So if you're wondering why the kit is no longer in store, right, that is because, right, the kit is actually kind of glitch. It was supposed to be here yesterday. It was here yesterday. So what was the issue with, <laughs> you know, the kit itself? So what happens is, right, um, EA has actually already removed it because, you know, there's actually a glitch with the kit like I've spoken previously. Now, what happens is when you purchase the kit, right, the kit actually costs 50k. And I actually took a screenshot of it yesterday at Content Drop, right before they have actually removed it. Once you purchase this kit, which costs about 50k or 350 FIFA points, right, it actually turns into a Augsburg kit. And when you actually, right, Go ahead and put on this kit, right? And then, you know, go ahead to try to play some games, right? It actually doesn't register in the objective because I think some people think that this might be a visual glitch, but no, this is an actual Augsburg kit. So even if you try to play games with this kit, right, you won't get the objective done. How long will EA take, right, to actually fix this objective thing? I have no idea. It's actually so funny, right? The fact that they can even screw up a simple thing, right, as like a jersey. I have no idea how. So drop me a follow on Twitter for all this um, latest news and update, right? Because I actually tweeted this out 
fairly early yesterday once it actually already happened. And I'll let you guys know, right, when this thing is actually fixed. So in the meantime, right, um, I wouldn't, right, advise you to actually go ahead to, um, you know, try to do any of the objective in that Augsburg kit because you're just going to waste your time. So, you know, let's go straight away, right, and talk about how to actually halve the prices of all your big boy SBCs. Now, um, I'm going to have two methods to share. The first method that I'm sharing are for people who have time to grind the game. So for those who don't have time, I'll share the method right after this. So the first method, what you can be doing is your bronze pack method. So what you want to be doing is basically, right, just go to the store, go and purchase your bronze packs. Now, after you have purchased the bronze packs, right, you can just skip over the animations. Open up a few, right? Don't open up one at a time. Go and open like 10 bronze packs with coins. Tell those players, right, that has value. I know I've been saying, right, sometimes, what are those players who has value? So if you actually go and compare the prices of your bronze players, right, so somebody like this, right, doesn't have any value. Why? Because nobody is buying them and he's actually counting down, right, to less than one minute. So this is somebody, right, who is absolutely worthless. So if you actually go ahead and search the player, right, and the player actually has some kind of value, right, he should not be less than a minute mark. Right, once you search him, right, immediately, right, you should at least see like, you know, three to four minutes on the timer, something along these lines, right? If this is the first page that you search, then that player has value. So if he sells for anything more than 250 coins and above, right, go and sell him. If not, it's okay. We can actually use him for the SBC itself. Actually, right now, right, if you list your worthless bronze players, Quite a few of them actually sell because I think there's actually demand for your daily bronze upgrade SBC, right? So opening the packs, right, has an advantage because if you open the packs up, right, you actually have a shot, right, at packing some of your higher rated promo cards because some of your higher rated promo cards like your 87 and your 88, right, their base versions, right, are actually bronze. That's what I'm trying to say, right? So, you know, do this. Your daily bronze upgrade, just chuck it in. It's actually very easy. And then you can actually only do this um, three times. Go ahead, go and open up your pack, your Jumbo Premium Bronze Players Pack after you have completed this. And then what you want to do is chuck your Bronze Players, right, into this pack. The Ultimate Bronze Upgrade. After you have maxed out the Daily Bronze Upgrade SBC, right? Chuck all the Bronze Players that you get here, right? Okay, so once it's done, right, you get yourself a Silver Pack. So let's go ahead to the store itself and, you know, go and open up this silver pack. For the bronze players, right, you can either choose to open up the bronze packs or you can just be on the bronze commons players, right? It's up to you really. But personally, right, I think the bronze pack meta is better because you have a shot at packing a higher rated card that goes for a lot. And then in that manner, right, you make coins even. That is a method that I think you can be, can actually be doing. So once you have opened up that pack, come back here to the daily silver upgrade. And of course, right, you just chuck in your silver players. All you have to do, right, is you just have to chuck in three. Right, just do it. You can only do it three times a day. Once you have done this, go and open up your Jumbo Premium Silver Players Pack. So let's assume that, you know, I've already opened it up. And then I'm going to go right ahead and put the remaining silvers, right, that I've gotten from that pack, right, into your Ultimate Silver Pack. So once you have put all your silvers into here, right, you can actually, right, Open up the packs, right? Do this a few times. Do this ultimate silver upgrade a few times. And each time you do it, right, you get eight gold common players. So once you have gotten your eight gold common players, right, what you want to be doing is your 80 plus player pick. So just do this a few times and you should get yourself, right, a pretty decent amount of fodder, especially your higher rated ones like your 87, 88 and above. So after you have done this um, 80 plus player pick, right, you can then move on, right? to actually right, put all your fodder into your 85 by 10. So this is one of the crafting method that you can do, right? Put all your fodder into your 85 by 10. Open up your 85 by 10, you know, uh, rinse and repeat because you can do your 85 by 10 three times. If you actually get your higher rated fodder, like your 91s, 92s, or your 93s, right? Then you can continue, right, working on whatever SBC that you want to. I like take for example, if you're doing Dino, right, and you've gotten some really high rated fodder from the 85 by 10, just throw them inside here. So this is uh, method number one. So remember, right, when you actually go and open up your packs, right, you actually get 
some bronze rares, right, and some silver rares, right, you should actually, right, go to, you know, each icon segment, right, whereby you can submit your bronze rare and your silver rares, right, and you can actually get a uh, two rare gold players pack as well. I would suggest that you put your bronze and silver rares here. So even if you, you know, for example, you don't want to complete Dino, right, it's actually still advisable, right, to go and do this segment of the SBC, right, with all your silvers and uh, bronze rares. That is something you can do as well. So another thing that you want to be doing also because, you know, Team of the Weeks are actually, right, super hard to pack right now. What you want to be doing is, you know, if you have your extras like your 81s and 82s, right, you should be chucking them into this SBC to actually get yourself a Team of the Week because we only have 10 right now in packs and it's actually very, very hard to pack them. So go and do this instead of buying your Team of the Weeks off the market. They are actually at about 28k uh, Team of the Week right now. So that's something that you can do. Some of you, right, uh, might be thinking, right, this is way too long a grind. You know, I want to get Dino or your 93 plus, you know, footage player pick done, right? ASAP. There's actually a second method that I'm talk going to talk about that is actually, right, way more, you know, doesn't take up that much time. So shout out to um, Cam Expert. He actually was the one who actually provided this method. So what he did was... He actually put right one mil right into your goal comments to do your 80 plus player pick and what he did was he as you guys can see right he calculated the prices right of each of the cards that he have gotten right from the 80 plus player pick so you see right um Zajinko's value is actually 18k on the market your 90 Zajinko, right tuta is actually 7.5k on the market right so on and so forth this whole thread is actually very very long because he actually put um one mil into this and right at the end right you know he even, you know, packed Footy's cover how. So this method is actually very, very good because you have a chance of packing your newest and best cards in your player picks as well, not to mention the fodder. So at the end, right, right at the end, right, he calculated everything, right? So he put in 1 mil and he actually gotten back 1.95 mil, right, in terms of value for his fodder. So basically, right, you can get any SBC done, right, for half that price just by doing, right, your 80 plus player pick. If you actually don't have that much time and you know you can do any sbcs for half the price right sbcs like your ronaldinho instead of it being 5m it's now 2.5 mil your footage player pick is also half price your 85 by 10 is also half price so this method is actually something that you can do right whatever kind of sbc right you want to craft now i actually also realized one thing while actually uh doing the ronaldinho sbc right that can actually save you lots of coins so if you have your red champs player picks right still there you can actually use them in the sbc itself so you know you don't have to pay like 28k for team of the week or you know 38k for tots right now so this will significantly right again right reduce the price of your um dino sbc so let's talk about you know the content that we can expect to see today i hope you guys enjoyed that segment because some of y'all actually asked me to do this how to craft the sbc method so as confirmed by um, Sheriff, right, we're actually going to have a uh, Javier Hernandez. Again, we don't know whether this is coming as an SBC for Team 3 or is he going to be in packs for Team 4. So we shall see. I think we should get at least, right, one more footage player SBC, right, either today or tomorrow, right? No, I don't think there's a chance that we go like two days without a footage player SBC. So some of the content, right, actually, right, goes away today. Your 86 plus player pick actually expires at content. So the requirements, a 81 rated squad with one team of the week. So I fully expect something along these lines, right, to actually return. It can be 85 plus player pick, 86 plus. I expect to see that today. And also, right, we have still, right, a missing SBC in the form of your 87 by 10. Remember, in batch 1, we have actually gotten this. So we haven't seen this yet for batch 2, your 87 by 10, your best of. So I expect to see that so let's go through the requirements again 84 85 uh, 87 rated squad with one team of the week or one pots and also of course right we have your 85 by 10 refreshing we can do it three times we also have yet to see your 83 by 100 and you know as confirmed by sheriff right it's going to be coming as an sbc so i already mentioned in yesterday's video it's going to be 700k at least so Definitely a lot of people are actually wanting this pack to come out because this will really really help right in terms of your menu and SBC grind uh, right now. So my guess is right there's probably going to be a TOTS or Team of the Week requirement in this. So with that in mind right let's move on right and talk about investments itself. 
So for your 81s, right, PC players, 1.1k max, 800 coins on bid. Console players, right, I don't think it's really worth it because they actually didn't really go up that much. Your 82s, both console and PC players, right, 1.8k max, 1.5k on bid. PC players, 1.7k max, 1.4k on bid. Your 83s, console players, right, 3k max, 2.7k on bid. PC players, 2.9k max, 2.6k on bid. Now your 84s. Console players, right? 4.8k max, 4.5k on bid. PC players, 3.9k max, 3.6k on bid. So we were actually doing pretty well yesterday, your 84s. We bought them at 4.5k. We sell them off at um 5.2k. So this is actually from a member in the Discord. I actually gave them the selling price right before content drop and they basically sold. So what about our team of the week's 88s, right? How did they do yesterday? So as you guys can see, this is from... All these are all screenshots from the members in the Discord, right? Selling off your 88 Team of the Weeks at 36k. And we all bought them for 30k max. So that's actually 4.2k profit per card. So yet more pages of your 88 Team of the Weeks, right? Selling at 36k. In fact, right, your 88 Team of the Weeks, right, actually went higher than that. They went all the way from about 30k, like I mentioned, to about 41.5k. So of course, right, um, I've always said this. If you are somebody who knows how to read the market and you are actually very very calm right you can go ahead and wait for the prices to go up and the number one rule it's always right if you want to become a good trader right you have to keep calm and not panic you got to know what you're doing the prices that i provide for y'all in the discord itself right it's a generic kind of a price guide because you know not everybody right has the mental capacity right to actually not panic when their cards don't sell of course when cards sell right everything is all good and then you are thinking why can't i get more profit but when cards don't sell right that is the time where you know people start to panic and the prices that i provide are actually for you know this kind of um, traders like those who are in the beginning stage you don't really know how to trade if you know how to trade then i say go ahead you can actually take reference to my listing prices and you know even increase the prices up by a little bit so right now right your team of the weeks right they're actually back down at 36k or so so i actually think that it's a good pickup for console players right 33k on bid 35k max pc players right 33k max 31k on bid now your thoughts right i actually want to take a look they actually went all the way up to about 47k and we're actually picking them up at 38.5k so they went up by almost 10k so again another member in the discord selling your thoughts that i talked about so right now, right, they're actually all the way back down to about 37k itself. And we have another opportunity to make coins again. For your console players, right, your thoughts, 37.5k max, 35.5k on bid. PC players, right, 34k max, 32k on bid. So especially for your PC players, right, if you actually want to go ham on your thoughts, right, I say go right ahead because they're actually at a very, very low price, especially on PC. However, you know, your sell time right might be slightly longer depending on whether they will actually be required so we should actually target to sell off all the thoughts right before sunday itself so whatever thoughts that you buy right just make sure that the price range right it's at least 50k make sure you don't buy those that have a lower price range like a 45 or 42.5k so that's something that you can invest in for today let's move on right and talk about some of the other content that we saw yesterday we actually seen the return right of your 50k extra time small rare players pack let's go and take a look at the pack itself and the pack odds you actually right i believe have um less than a one percent chance right at packing a footies player based on what i've saw just now and you know of course you know less than a one percent chance i don't really think that is ideal to you know to go ahead and um purchase this and we also gotten your extra time right rare players pack as well again less than one percent chance that you have of packing your footies players I don't really think again that is worth it but you know it's only 50k and 100k that's the only saving grace so let's move on right and talk about some of the other members in the discord the profits right more pages of your you picked up 89 rated team of the week selling at 37k and we bought them for about 30 30k or so right more pages of your team of the weeks so you know all i have to say is if you want to make coins join the discord while it's still currently free you get the sell prices from me you only get the buy prices on youtube you want the sell prices join the discord right yeah more pages of your 88 team of the week is doing very very well for us so so thank you guys for staying to you know this part of the video itself i know it's been you know kind of a long one because you know i i'm teaching you guys how to craft the sbc's for like half the price almost i'm actually going to open up a 85 by 10 and let's actually take a look at the pack weight i really really appreciate you know, all the support on the channel it has been incredible so far 
Yeah, so hopefully, you know, we get something good. Oh, this 85 by 10. Venduzi. Okay, not too bad. Is there like a cheeky little footies, right? Hiding behind. Alright, there isn't. Quite a decent pack, if I can say so myself. Last thing I want to talk about is your Amazon Prime Gaming Pack. So if you guys have Amazon Prime, link your Amazon Prime to your EA Sports account and you get a free monthly gaming pack. And if you actually really appreciate all the content I've been pumping out on the channel, whether on YouTube, Twitch or Discord, you can actually sub to me for free on Twitch if you have Amazon Prime. It's actually going to motivate me a lot, right, to continue pushing all the content to you guys. So that's all for me. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And if you guys want to see more trading videos, how to craft SBC for half prices, you know, all the good stuff on the channel, right, hit that sub button. And I just want to say, right, that tomorrow, right, there might not be a trading video because I might have something on and we might be doing a pack opening video. So if you want the trading tips, right, go and join the Discord. I will be informing the Discord people, right, of what to buy if there isn't a trading video. So that's all for me, all right? I'm out. Take care, guys.